We're here at Fisher's Farm. Let's go. Strictly right as down on the side of Right. So. Of this new new audio UK.
Last few days. <laughs> so, my name is Ellie, and I'm going to be a commentator for this trip. And um, up ahead, we have Nick driving the tractor. Oh, I so, my number one rule for this tractor ride is to make sure that you guys stay seated and keep your heads, shoulders, knees, and toes inside the trailer at all times, as it does get very, very bumpy. Now, those on the left, you guys can see our Casper's barn. Now, this is open to the public all day, so I think you should be going in there if you want to see our shy horses, some piglets, and lots of other very cute animal. Also our free range chicken builders on the left here too. In there is our rooster called Kellogg's, a peacock called Prince Philip, and lots of lovely hens. So we're now going to be going through all of our fields and barns of where we keep our animals most of the year. Now we rotate our animals pretty much on the daily to keep it interesting and also to keep grass at a good length because no grass you can cause unhappy animals. Luckily we are a bit very fortunate with grass this year. I think we've just had a very wet year and also not much heat. So it hasn't killed grass off as much as it usually does. So don't worry, you've got two more opportunities to give it a go. I'm a bit biased, it's my favourite ride on the farm. It's been here since I was a child and always, always my favourite thing to come to. It's very bumpy, very windy, a lot of fun. 
Now on the left we have Miss Poppy. She's a pot belly piggy. Very friendly little girl. And then on the right we have some of our piglets. There are ten of them. All running around. They've literally just been taken away from their mums. They're now old enough, so they're now on hard food and grass and doing really well. What's that? The two pigs that were literally laying right on in the way almost. That's Harry and Betsy and their Cooney Cooney pigs. Cooney Cooney is a Maui term for a round fat thing. I don't want to be mean to them, but they do fit that description very well. And then as well, we've got ten of our calves that have just been given to us by a local dairy farm. I say just, it's actually in for a month ago. <laughs> Time's gone fast. But these guys were given to us because unfortunately their mums did not produce enough milk to feed them, so we hand read them here. They've now just come off milk and out to the fields, and they're doing really, really well. It is a common thing that we tend to take on animals that can't be naturally fed by their parents and things like that because we'd rather help them out than them get poorly. So yeah, lots of farms give us animals like this. It's very good. In here we've got a variety of animals. We've got firstly all of our sheep. So these are all of our mama sheep with their lambs from this year. Although you can't really tell the difference between the lamb and the mum because they seem to be super sized this year. They're huge. We've also got our highland cows over in the left hand side of the trailer. That's Aria and Isla, mother and daughter. They are silver dun highland cows. Then we've also got our Sussex herd. In here we have our bull Wellington with his 10 wives and 10 children. There is a considerable size difference between him and the girls, so you can probably spot him in the, in the crowd. So in this field as well, we've got some of our donkeys. We've got Bonnie and Clyde. Two of our newest additions to the farm are the two cows in the middle of the field. They are Beltic Galloway cows. They're famous for going to shows and competitions as these type of cows, if you have a, a, a very straight line of where it goes from white to black, you can win a lot of money basically. Now on the left we have two of our most recent new attractions. We have got the mound, imaginative name I know, but it's our rendition of a ski slope because we've got a blue, red, green and black slope that you can go down on the toboggan frames. And also our brand new tree house. This literally only opened a couple weeks ago so yeah, very brand new. Owners of the farm took a long time building this and it's turned out amazing, it's very very nice. Then also on the left we have Skyfall. Now you can never miss Skyfall, it's the biggest thing on the farm. If you guys haven't been on there already, it's next on at 3 o'clock. And you can either go off the 4 metre or the 6 metre platform, as long as you've got over 5. This includes adults as well, I've seen a lot of adults getting involved in Skyfall over the summer, so we're feeling like a bit of a daredevil today. 